everybody welcome back to my channel today i wanted to recreate the look that jenny wore in her jazz version live music performance of her song you and me the look immediately caught my attention because soft very muted tones were used it looked very mauve ish like there was a lot of mauve tones which i really love when i saw her eye makeup i had to think of one eyeshadow that i have in my collection that gives a very similar effect to the eye so i have prepared myself and i want to recreate it as best as i can on my facial features which are obviously so different but i just love the entire vibe of the look so i'm trying to recreate it for myself and i hope that you will enjoy it so without further ado Let's start. Also, the lighting uh, is probably going to change in a couple of minutes, seconds, I don't know, because the sun is starting to peek through the clouds because it's very overcast right now, but it is going to change. It's probably not going to look this cool toned and dark uh, for much longer, I, at least I hope so. So for my face, I'm going to be using the Espa Pro Taylor Big Glow Foundation. I showed you this in my last video and I'm also going to be using it today. She had beautiful skin. Obviously, there are filters on the video and there is so much post-production, but that does not mean that she doesn't have beautiful skin. I'm just saying, we should never compare ourselves to what we see in music videos. That's just not realistic. But this foundation really gets you to a a close look because it is so hydrating and glowy looking so I'm going to be applying this on my face I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer how I usually do. To prevent creasing like under my eye or maybe like on my smile lines and make the center of my face look a little bit more matte since I do get a little oily, I'm going to be using a little bit of loose powder. Not too much because it has been getting so, so cold, like it's freezing outside today. I don't even know how many degrees in Celsius we have, maybe seven, that's not that much. So it doesn't even matter to apply a lot of powder because I won't get too oily, but just to, you know, make everything a little bit more flawless, a little bit of powder, really just a veil. Jenny has a beautiful skin tone and since I am much paler than she is, I'll be using some bronzer to make up for that, which don't get me wrong, I like my fair skin. Her blush didn't really stand out too much. It was a very soft color, so nothing over the top. So I think I'm going to be starting off with something light pink, just because I feel like a light pink will always look good on any cool toned, mauve kind of makeup look. And then I'll add a little bit more of a fleshy tone on top. This one isn't too pigmented, so it is perfect to, you know, lay down a layer of color first and then you can add any more pigmented blush on top. That way you will prevent clown cheeks. So I always go ham on the blush, so blushes like these kind of help me to, you know, stay in my lane. <laughs> And to top that off, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal blush in this shade, Sandalwood Pink, which looks like this. It's a little bit more of a skin tone color, so I'm going to be using this a little bit more on like the outer part to mid. I'm 
I'm going to be staying in the cool tone family with my highlighter as well so I'm going to be using the Catrice highlighter in the shade Supreme Rose Beam. I'm going to be using the same brush that I used. Like this brush is so nice for detailed blush work but especially for highlighter. Like it hugs the cheekbone. It's so soft. It's so inexpensive. I really recommend this brush. I'm pretty sure you can get it on your style. I am in love. I will never be applying powder highlighter with any other brush if it's not this. I refuse. I'm only going to be hitting right here. I just want the front to kind of glow. Okay, now for the eyes, this is the palette that I thought of and the reason being is this mauve shade right here, it is beautiful. <laughs> it is basically just like a regular mauve color, nothing too major, but the special thing about it is that it has very micro fine shimmer glitter running throughout it in pink and kind of like a gold so this reminded me of her look because she had like a mauve shadow but it was like glistening but not because of it being like a metallic shadow or a shimmer shadow it literally just looked like they added a matte color and then applied glitter on top i'm pretty positive that the glitter that she had on her eyes are bigger glitter particles because for it to sparkle that way in that distance it just has to be something more like big sized like this chunky glitter that i just don't use anymore but i feel like for a similar effect but make it every day this shadow here i feel like is the best to recreate that i'm actually going to be starting with this light shade up here it's also going to make it easier to blend out afterwards since this color is a lot darker than my skin tone so i feel like starting with something light and then adding on top is always a good idea and now i'm taking the mauve shade Moving on to eyeliner. Her eyeliner wasn't like too cat eye-ish or anything. It looked like it was simply following her natural eye shape. So I'm going to do that as well. To lightly smoke it out, I'm going to use this darkest shade, which it's such a special dark brown because it has a slight purple tint to it so it just flatters the entire palette so well i have to admit you guys i miss chunky glitter so much i know i just said that i will not use it anymore and i won't because my eye health is more important but i really miss it too like this look top it off with something like this i really really miss it i'm kind of sad it's okay Going to apply some mascara even though she definitely had some false lashes on i can't be bothered and even if i tried i couldn't <laughs> i don't know how to apply thick lashes it just takes ages for me Jenny's brows are naturally nice and full, so I'm going to be trying to follow my natural brow shape but make it look a little fuller because I have pretty thin, sparse ends and I feel like I have made some mistakes with my brows just yesterday as I was tweezing, so I'll give it my best.
For the lips, I feel like you can really do however you like it. All you really need is just like a mauve kind of lip color. I have two that I would want to recommend to you depending on what you prefer. So one is the Juicy Lasting Tint from Romand in Bare Grape. Let me swatch it on my hand for you. This is what that one looks like. Beautiful mauve, everyday kind of muted shade. And the other one that I want to recommend is the Fix In Tint in Dusty Beige. Similar, but this one obviously dries matte. So this is the Fixing Tint, this one is the Juicy Lasting Tint, and you can tell the colors are very similar. I feel like I'm going to go with the Fixing Tint. And I'll show you my favorite way of applying it. Now the fixing tint isn't quite dried yet, but let me just wipe it off anyway so you can see the stain left by both of them. So yeah, keep in mind they didn't stay on my skin for too long, but they already stained a little bit. The fixing tint definitely a lot more. So I'm going to be lining my lips with a brown kind of nude lip liner first. Now I'm going to be applying a very tiny amount of the fixing tint. It really sticks to the lips, like the adherence is amazing and it is a product that you can top off with a gloss without it being weird and getting all you know, bunched up, so I'm going to top it off with a milky cool tone gloss. This is one of my all-time favorite cool tone lip combinations, like when I need that one perfect longer lasting glossy mauve lip, this is what I usually go for. I just think it always looks nice. <laughs> so I guess that for the final look, I'll try to do my hair a little differently and I'll be back in just a second. And with that, I would say we complete today's little makeup look. I feel like especially when you, you know, put something more flowy on or put your hair like up in a bun like I did, I feel like this looks so elegant. You could use this for every day, but if you have any special occasion coming up and you don't know what to do, I feel like this look is very suited. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up and I really hope to see you in my next video. Until then, please take care of yourself. Bye!